This weekend, 43 Alcorn student athletes would have walked across the stage to receive their degrees. The COVID-19 crisis did not allow us to celebrate their achievements in person, but rest assured, each one of their names was announced with the same honor and dignity, just as if they were right here on the reservation. I anticipate that Athletic Director Horn and the Athletic Department will highlight the academic successes of our Braves in the coming days. There is a lot to be proud of, and he has promised this is only the beginning. This is a new era for Alcorn Athletics. After a lengthy and thorough national search, which included over 40 applicants, we're excited to tip off the decade by hiring a women's basketball coach with a proven track record for winning conference championships and graduating students. Two weeks ago, the unveiling of our new men's basketball coach set the bar high. Coach Bussey is committed to ensuring each of his players are prepared for life. That means wins on the court and in the classroom. I expect nothing less from the new leader of our women's basketball team. He and athletic director Horn have assured me that we will have championship rings and college degrees. That promise excites me and makes me proud to lead this institution. We know that winning is important, but we also know that student athletes should leave here proud and prepared to succeed. I'm eager to get back into the Whitney Complex and cheer on the Lady Braves and will be just as excited when each of them cross the stage during their commencement ceremony. As always, go Braves. Thank you, Dr. Nave. Your outstanding support for athletics has resulted in another triumph I'm proud to announce Nate Kilbert to the Lady Brave Faithful. Coach Kilbert is making a homecoming. We couldn't be more excited to have a leader with his experience, championship rings, and a reputation for academic success. He was a vital part of the Alcorn State coaching staff that established a dynasty from 1991 to 2001, capturing four SWAC championships and five regular season titles. As the head coach for Mississippi Valley State and Arkansas Pine Bluff, he was responsible for two regular season titles and was even awarded the SWAC Coach of the Year twice. Simply put, he knows how to win in this conference. And he holds his players to the highest standards in the classroom. We're confident that Coach Kibble will take our program to prominence. Now, for the man we've all been waiting for, Coach Kibble, welcome. Please say a few words. Thank you, President Nate. Thank you, A.D. Horn. I'm excited. What an awesome opportunity this is to be able to return to Alcorn State University, where I not only earned my master's degree, but where I also helped the later grades establish itself to become the powerhouse in the Southwest Atlanta. As Alcorn State women's basketball coach, I will run a first class program one which will emulate the university core values, which have existed since its founding in 1871. I will ensure the success and well-being of our student athletes on and off the court, beginning with success in the classroom, in doing something that I have always done, recruiting students who are equipped with the skills to matriculate successfully in the academic field, and who will all leave Alcorn State University with their degree in hand. The return of Lady Braves basketball to its glory days begins right here and right now. We've had some good days, but the best is yet to come. Thank you. I wish you the best of health as we continue to cope with this health pandemic. Stay safe and go Braves. <laughs>